Hello everyone, welcome to Pod But Make It Fashion. My name is Sander. And my name is Dennis. And we are talking today about the famous episode, the episode 7 of Cycle 4 of America's Next Top Model, The Girl Who Pushes Tyra Over the Edge. Oh, yeah, it's like I'm done with you, Tyra. <laughs> I, was, I was rooting for you. Boom. No, gone. <laughs> no, but yeah, we'll, we'll yeah we'll get to that in a little second. Um, I have some notes, but most of those notes are based on the last, last yeah. three minutes of this well, episode. Let's just see if we walk through this episode. What's going to happen? Because you see, I'm going to talk in a different accent. What because accent are you doing, well, Dennis? I don't know. Because flowers be- for sale, <laughs> flowers for sale. <laughs> the first, uh, they get into a challenge with an acting coach and a dialect coach. Now, first, they did some name dropping because they went to the restaurant of Ashton Kutcher, where nothing happened. Was Do- that before? Dolce. Oh. That was the beginning, and I was like, "Oh, something's happening here." Well, a one oh. thing is happening: that Tiffany doesn't know what raw food is. Well, she didn't eat it. Who cares? Good for her. We don't. She, I, I still like her. Um, it was only, I think, Ashton Pay Tyra. Yeah. Good was this the time Ashton. that he was famous in Punked? Probably. Good <laughs> or, for or you. Or the Seventy Show. No, 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 both. Good both. for you, Ashton. Get them coins. Get them coins. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. sorry for interrupting, but now you can continue with your um. Yeah, you you your you, challenge. You, you totally blew my whole 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 transition, but, but do it good. in the Cockney accent. A Cockney accent? I don't know. I don't need. What? Uh, do it. What Try is a proper it. Cockney accent actually? Um, what let you me do? see. Let, let you see. Let you see what well, the proper... They call a Tyra Mill. <laughs> and it said, you walk to walk. You... Walk, can you talk to talk? <laughs> now okay, you, now let's you, do it normal. This is too funny because now you, you talk a little bit like uh, you talk to talk, you walk to walk. You and, walk uh, to walk and you talk to talk. And, uh, <laughs> but no, yeah, they, had a, they had a challenge with an acting coach and a dialect coach. And they, um, I thought he was not cute like in like hell, well, but like sweet, cute, the coach. The, the man? Yeah. When he walked in, I was like, Ah, uh, I think you're a nice The old dude. man. Yes. Oh, wait. I was thinking that you were like, th- find him attractive. I'm like, are we talking no, about the same I, person? That's, that's what I was saying. Like, not attractive. But like, I was like, ah. He looks like the professor who is the history teacher at yeah, school. Yeah, but then you had annoying ones, but you also had the sweet ones. And he looked like a sweet one. Okay. I don't know. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, they, um, they, they learn about an accent. And then uh, they get some lines and have to memorize the lines for the next day. Because they have an acting challenge where another actor oh do you know who it is boris kaju yeah i don't know how you pronounce it (laughs) k-o-d-g-o-e kaju kaju how could you how could you kaju how could you kaju (laughs) but he was pretty but he looks like a soap opera actor i think he's dead he has the look of like rich forster from bolts and the beautiful like something he doesn't look like that but that's the kind of i don't know who that is but um, (gasps) you don't know bolts and the beautiful no no okay but um, yeah, but the acting challenge, I thought it was hilarious where uh, n- literally no one knew their lines except for Naima and Michelle. This, is it so hard to, re- to learn lines? It apparently, was not that they had to th- do three pages or something, right? Well, but they did say that Christina missed the whole page. So I was like, maybe they had to learn more than what they showed us. Yeah, but I think think they only oh they made that look yeah okay it that's could, true I, I, I thought the same thing that's true yeah but um i was also a little bit like you had a full day to learn these yeah what, what else are you going to be doing and but but one thing i was thinking about this because okay one it's fun to make them to turn and i don't know to uh to <laughs> the, the acting thing why do they have to do it in a cockney accent Television. Well, yeah, I know. So Television. I, so that's why I said to you with uh, that I understood Tiffany. Like every day it's get more and more humiliating. Yeah, but the thing is though, it's not it it can be humiliating, but it can be humiliating like let's just do it and see where 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 we end up. That's or, true. Or oh no, I'm gonna hu- humiliate myself, I'm not gonna do it. If you're gonna do that with everything, nothing's gonna happen. Because I think the way she laughs it off is also kind of funny because Michelle took it too seriously. <laughs> and it's like, Oh, I rocked it. I'm like, you look more awkward now than Tiffany did, actually, because you were so sure about yourself. Yeah, but in a different way. That's true. In a different way. But did it, it tell anything about how they did? I'm like, who no, cares? No, it was just fun. Action? It was just fun television. I think it was fun television. But um, 
Yeah, I thought Naima that she won was uh, made a lot of sense to me. Yeah, she was good. Yeah, I think she did very good. Yeah. And uh, I think it was very sweet that she also picked Michelle uh, yeah. as like, uh, hey, you can... Uh, what did they get to pick? Like diamonds uh, Diamonds. Or for $10,000 worth <laughs> of diamonds. Euros. <laughs> euros. $10,000 worth of diamonds. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was nice. That was nice, I think. I, I, I found it very funny that then uh, the Boris get to give critique to all the girls. And then Tiffany loved the hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Thanks, Boris. That was Boris. a good one-liner. <laughs> yeah, because she... Like, that's the thing. In this episode, you notice from the beginning, Tiffany is done. And not like that they made it done she made it she was done with it she was over it she was like i can't be bothered anymore like she is internally given up it's it's really sad to see that with someone because yeah. you literally can she's like ah oh, why am i doing this and then after the um uh, after this challenge they come back uh, at the house or loft or whatever and they talk about and she says like yeah but like where i'm from in the ghetto or something like that or i'm not sure if she says that but she the conclusion of the conversation is, is that she says, I don't want to change who I am. Like, I have to accept who I am or something or something in that, like, vocabulary. And I'm like, but it's okay that you don't know certain things. It's yeah. okay that you go to a restaurant and don't know things. As Tyra said before, you can ask. But if you, if you make yourself small in that way, be like, yeah, but I'm from there, so I don't know it, so it's bad then you're kind of judging yourself in that way already. And yeah. it's it's very heartbreaking to see someone do that to themselves, to be like, I could, I literally, you can see that she's she's given up. She's like, why am I doing this? While she, in my opinion, I don't know how you think about it, did quite well until this episode. I was always with her I, pictures. I'm like, okay, they're okay. You know, she she could have gone quite far. Yeah. I tell every episode when I look I watch with you, like, oh, she's so pretty. Yeah, you I know it's not. Really pretty, yeah, yeah, I know it's not enough, but I mean, like, she looks very beautiful always. Yeah, I'm not that big of a fan of her. Not like I, I do th agree she looks very pretty, but I think she did okay. She wasn't the bottom ones. She wasn't the top ones, but she did okay. But it could have been, it could have been like a Cinderella story that you, you know, grow from. And you grow it, like from a yeah. swan. What is it? Chicken to a swan. What is it? The ugly duckling to a swan. Well, never an ugly Chicken duckling. Chicken to a swan. <laughs> swan to a princess. I can't. Chicken to a swan. Yeah, something like that. You know what I mean? It could have been that. Well, could have been. It was still that mm -hmm. because she made on me always a very nice impact. I was rooting for her, and I'm still am rooting for her. I don't know. I'm 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 always like, well, if you don't want it, well, then done. Which I don't know. That's true. That's true. Okay, but it's kind the of challenge, sad, but yeah, yeah. Then Diana, Ima, the diamonds with yeah. Michelle and Tatiana. They get some diamonds, and, and then and they, yeah, yeah, and then they go into they talk a little bit. Then they go into the shoot. Yes. And this shoot was hilarious because uh, they get to do a shoot with another male model. And Kaylin turns red and can't oh look at the... Oh, my God. But how red can you turn? It's, it's so too funny. It's too funny. It's just like... But how old is she? 21, 20? 20, 20. Yeah. And she's like, I've never had a boyfriend. and But it's, 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 it's funny to see how people can react very, very differently to that. Because I think some of the girls were like, okay. And then you also had Rebecca who was like, I have a fiance. How am I going to do this? And I'd be like, girl, this is work. Yeah. You're not stepping into a relationship with him. You're not, hu you're not humping him. That's true, but I have a little. Uh, well, I don't. It's not. There's not a secret, but it's. I found it uh, in the oh. interview that the male model actually was kind of inappropriate. <gasps> what did you do? What did you do? I don't exactly know. So I hope that listeners know that I don't say anything that's not true. But apparently, on the interviews with Oliver Twigs, uh, both Rebecca and Tiffany said, "Yeah, he was. You know, that he made comments or said something or touched or whatever." And of course, it is also part of the photo shoot, but maybe it went a little bit further because otherwise uh, you wouldn't have said that yeah. because both of them agreed about that, that he... I don't know the details. I, I It comes up in my mind now. I didn't listen to that interview recently, but I remember that they said like... Because it also happens later in the season and then, then it's also part of the episode. So we'll talk about it later. It happens when they are going abroad to a model. But here, apparently, he was not... It was not all uh, nice and uh, cozy. Yeah, he was pretty though. <laughs> yeah. he, he was—I don't know—not pretty. He had a good body. Let's put it that way. 
get a good body. If I could switch that body right now, I would switch it. Oh yeah, but and yeah. I would pay a lot of money for that. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Ten. I got five. Euro. <laughs> what can you do for me for ten euros? <laughs> <laughs> when I go to parties with Dennis, oh. he always tries to say, "I only have ten euros. What can you give me?" At the bar, it's just <laughs> too funny. Bar. It's too funny. And it works but, uh, because Dennis is fucking pretty. That was, <laughs> that was just the deal they had at that bar. But never mind. But um, yeah. Uh, but then the shoot, yeah, the shoot itself, nothing really happened. Nothing really happened. Of course, the girls were, like you said, like very uncomfortable. But oh wait, I, there's one thing that happened. Michelle's hair. She looked like a lion. <laughs> it was like a mane coming out of it. It was like I was like when she was up, I was like okay. Yeah, it was it was it was a lot. Yeah, and uh, Ima doesn't look good. No, with her hair. no, 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 no. Well, she maybe it works long hair, but not this way. Not like all puffed up, and it was just yeah. And if you see them walking in, because you see its extensions, then you also see that there's like <laughs> poof, like a big poof behind her head. But on the photos, you don't see that. Thank God, because they just no. wanted more hairs in the yeah. front. But then with Britney, it looked so. Yeah, porno actress, see, not her, but her hair. But in the picture, you, it looked fine. They didn't yeah. even need those extensions, in my opinion. You didn't even know. see it. That it was it gave that more big. volume. Yeah, but for some, it didn't. I also would like that Naima wouldn't have them. It's also very typical, you know, yeah. with the sexy bra well, and then the long hair. It was also because it was for Wonder Bra. Maybe they had to do that shoot because it was like a promotion thing. That's true, because it was one concept for all the girls. Yeah. I like it when they do those photo shoots where they really sell something. That, they, that yeah, the girls Jennifer also Lopez, have to think. Uh, bikini. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but like last week it was they were, okay, you're working with the elements, water, fire, wind. Well, okay, yeah, okay, this is just to make these girls uncomfortable. But this could be a real ad, you know, yeah, working true, for, true. if you would have the job for Wonder Bra, of course they would say like, oh, we cannot see the bra now. So you didn't fit yeah. the briefing and i like those kind of concept shoots agreed agreed but of course they can always choose a picture oh we cannot see your bra and i'm like yeah you can also sabotage that because that you know. is true that is true but um and then from the shoot we get into judging let me just say let's talk about the thing at the end and then ah. first we talk about like everyone um yeah like there is a challenge where they have to talk with the teleprompter <laughs> Which this is the only challenge I, I have like. to say. I like this challenge because also it it to be fair, it was funny, but also it made them realize like, hey, some of them they didn't know how to say like Hermes or La Croix or stuff like that. Where it was like, okay, those are some model things you could have known, um, but still they didn't really do again that much with the challenge during no. judging. So that was a bit weird to me. It was more like they felt like it was a disappointment for all the girls. Yeah, I mean, I find I I've seen this clip so many times, and I always have to laugh at the same thing. That first, um, um, that it says on the screen, looks to the left, and then after that, wow, and then you see looks to the left, and then you see Naima looking, wow, yeah. and then after that. Looks to the left. Oh, that's, yeah. Kay that's Kaylin says it. I find it such a funny moment. <laughs> Kaylin is hilarious. But she's so very dry. She's, she's like, so cute. looks to the left. Oh, oh crap. But oh. also her voice. And time, that, who said it? I think Janet's like, where does that man voice yeah, came from? Welcome to ANTM Fashion Week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's hilarious. It's yeah, hilarious. but those names. But also they had to pronounce like model names. But. It was not like it was. Who they was were it? very big, like Your Giselle Bunchen. Giselle Bunchen. Yeah, we're very known. But how do you pronounce it, Bunchen? I would also not know. I only say Giselle. Gis <laughs> She's that famous. You could say Giselle. Giselle Bunchen. I think it's Bunchen, but I'm is she? Is she, is she? Does she have German heritage or no, something? No, I think she's from Brazil. Yeah, okay, but the, the name sounds quite German. Bunchen. Bunchen. Maybe. I think that's how you pronounce. It. I don't know. Bunchen. But it's still not uh, Mexican sounding. Mexican, Where would you say Mexico? Brazil? Brazil, sorry. I think she's from Brazil or something South America. Oh, something South America. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. But um, yeah, so who were your tops for this shoot? Oh, yeah. I found it quite difficult. Oh, really? I oh, no. Really yeah, I had two. I had two. I had one very favorite. Britney. Ooh. Yeah. First time she's my all time favorite. I really like Britney's photos. And again, but there's no wonder that she's coming this far. I like her, but she's also a good model. I like Kaylin's photo again, but I know you don't like her. No, I I do like her, but oh. I thought this this picture it was it wasn't good. I think um, she was smiling. She was cute. She was in my bottom. Oh really? Yeah, I thought it was a very bad picture. I thought Michelle's picture was really good. I also have Michelle a plus. I have Michelle and Brittany were my tops. And, okay. Uh, Kaylin was one of my bottoms, and also Tatiana. Ah, and for me also Naima. I didn't like Naima's photo. It was fine for me that one. It wasn't great, but I also think that this is just not her. Like if she was, if if you were to book her, but if you were to book her, if you were to book her, then she would never be booked for a shoot like this. That's true, but for me, she still has to come out 
to be one of my favorites in the shoots. She is never underperforming, but she is no, also true. never the best. True. Agreed. I think in the first week with the alien shot, she was one of the better ones. But for the rest, I've been like, yeah. But but she's she, fine. Yeah, and she is doing good in the challenges. She yes. takes this very seriously. She yeah. can walk, and those things are also important. She can act. You know, the she's girls a front never really runner. did a runway thing. They yet. did with uh, with Miss J that they had to walk at the mall, and then one by one, the, you know, that they had to change. Oh and yeah. The, and oh, they did yeah. it at the uh, football yeah. court or whatever. Yeah, yeah. true. And I true. think then, who won that again? Yuffie? I don't remember. But I think also Naima did well. I don't know. She can walk. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's still an image. I don't know from which season it is where she comes back and she doesn't walk. And Eva comes back too. I think it's the next cycle. But, oh, it's so damn good. But um, <laughs> uh, there was something I wanted to say. About the photo shoot? Yes. We were saying. My, oh, yeah. Um. I what I do have to say is I think Brittany is really stepping up her game. Yeah, like last week, uh, uh, last episode I should say, she was really good. I thought, um, and now like things are really. To be fair, the shoots do work well with who she is as a model. I think, like thinking about like uh, if she would do something that maybe Naima would be better at, then I don't know how well she would perform. Yeah, but I think the last couple of weeks has been very good for her. Yeah, yeah, but but also the danger is in these kind of shoots because remember the the dog shoot she did yeah. too sexy. Or, true. So true. this is also a thin yeah. line. And she performed Look now. At in you a good stepping way. it up for Britney. Well, I liked her this week and I also liked her personality this week. I was very annoyed with her last week with yeah. all the wild drinking Same. and uh, all those yelling. But sh- I yeah, I see and she's now, fun now now during the teleprompter when she was like, Bleh, then it was funny. Yeah, it yeah. was because she was not. Yeah, it was. She was making fun, but she was not. Look at me being extra. Yes. Yes, I now agree. Now she's funny. Yeah, I I, I, I I like Britney now. I'm also on Team Britney. And she will give some stellar shots in the future. Oh. She's a, she's a good one. Oh. She will be in All Stars. Oh. So well, she is one to remember. For the future. Yeah. Um. But, okay. So the thing about this episode. No, f- oh, first, I want to say one more thing before we go to the thing. Okay. Is that I really loved, what's his name again? <laughs> the actor, Boris. Yeah. Oh. Boris had such a cute qu- quote. He said something like, Oh, to, because then because uh, Tatiana was not delivering. I think it was to Tatiana, and he said something like, "But every click of the camera is an opportunity for you to show your your Pretty beauty face. or something." Yeah. I'm like, "That's cute." Yeah. I have to remember that in life. Like every time I step out, is an opportunity to show myself to the world. You know, that's like it's a good thing to remember. It is so, very and true. He is gorgeous. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It works. If <laughs> a gorgeous man says that, you have me. You have me. But um, okay, yes. Now we got that out of the way. Now we get to the moment. Ooh. I want to start where yeah, go uh, Tiffany because you know that's what we're going to be talking about. Tiffany goes uh, in a teleprompting, and you see with all the other girls that they have like a teleprompting thing, and they all kind of laugh or they do stuff. And then with Tiffany, they do it at first, and then Tiffany's like, I'm, "I can't do this. I can't do this." And you see the vibe of the judges change mm-hmm. that they start to encourage and be like. You can do this. You can do it. Just try. It. Like, I don't know what's happening, but like, they all become very sweet. I'm like, oh. And then she does it. And then she kind of makes fun of it in a way as well. But like, just go through with it. Like, they help her out. They, they motivate her to become their cheerleaders. Mm-hmm. Um, but you still see like, she, she it's like the, 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 the light is off. There's no sparkle anymore. And what I also find kind of hilarious <laughs> is um so you have the uh um uh, uh the moment where okay so the the bottom ones are rebecca and tiffany and then they show that they both get sent home and then they all cry and cry and crying and then tiffany kind of laughs it away and then the moment starts where tyra goes like come back come and it starts into rent and then the judges with everything that tyra says yes Yes. They kind of like agree with it. Like, I don't know. Something shifted from that. I don't know. It was very weird to me. Shall I give some behind the scenes Go information for it. about Go for this? It. Apparently, uh, Tyra, now Tiffany said in an interview that Tyra said of this day of uh, shooting already yeah. uh, that, that she already had been complaining about that she wasn't in a good mood that day. Um, so that Tiffany's reaction to being eliminated yeah. was like the last yeah. straw. And that Tiffany said. That she also felt that the mood changed, and that like all the people behind the scenes, like the cameraman, she said there was like thirty people behind, who were waiting for me to punch Tyra. You oh. know that she felt that. Not they didn't say that, but Tiffany said I felt that 
they were creating this moment for ratings oh. um, in, in spite of me how do you say that like uh, she used Tiffany yeah. to create a moment not Tyra used her but like the, the production yeah also Tyra her. because she was in a bad mood yeah. I think whatever Tiffany would have done this would have that's what Tiffany says and I can agree would have she wanted this because also if you watch the ratings this episode is one of the highest watched episodes they needed this maybe <laughs> Yeah, and they know. used her for it. But that's but you know, that's but you know what what the I thing heard. is though, and I think because I think I don't know what is Tyra's own backstory. I don't know. She because tells a lot, or, or only about her successes always. Yeah, because I think when I was seventeen. Yeah, like I don't know if she came from like a wealthy family or is she, did she came from nothing? I don't know. Um, but I think middle class. I don't think nothing. I have no idea. But like, I think it's very heartbreaking to see if if you. Because that's what she does with the show, literally. She gives people an opportunity to um, to start something. Yeah. To start, even if you don't win, like you, you, you have an opportunity that you start something. Also, it's reality defeat TV, so that's also part of it. But uh, you give people a chance. But if people are so laughy about it, and like you see them, they've given up. Because that's literally what you see in this whole episode. You also saw it in the last episode as well, the week before. That excuse me. Um, uh, a Tiffany that she's kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of over it. Like, I, I, I'm not sure. Like, you can tell that she she's lost a spark. But I think exactly during that teleprompting moment where she's like, I can't do this. And she's just like, hmm. I, and, and you're also in the position where you're like, she's not on the top one. She's like in the bottom ones. Like, we're going to send them home. Uh, and then also is like, oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I kind of understand where Tara's coming from. I also understand it. And I've always understood it. And also because at the end of the episode, even Tiffany herself says it. But apparently she was she they, she had to say that or something. There was something oh. going on. I don't remember everything. But she Tiffany is very anti-Tyra. Because <gasps> Tiffany said, I got a lot of crap out of this. Tyra used me for ratings and for drama. Um, because, of course... It makes sense what you say and i totally agree if you feel like someone uh, gave up a lot because she's also saying that like your grandma you know didn't yeah. put a light on for the for the bikini you, uh, everyone is working for your success tiffany except you that can be very frustrating but um it could have been handled differently exactly yeah, that and, is... and and tyra can put it under the label i only yell because i care i think you only yell because this makes drama and makes you look good and tiffany look bad how I, that's how I feel now after yeah. listening to Tiffany. Yeah. I don't think, though, to, to stick up for Tyra a little bit, that it was her intention. Uh, I do think, like, you know it's going to be good for camera, but I do think that it came from someplace real. But I wonder, looking back at it, if if you would ask Tyra, would you do it again? I would, I'm really curious what, what would she say. Like, because if, if I was Tyra and I would look back at it, I I would have called them back. I would have talked to them, but I would have said, like, Tiffany, I find it very heartbreaking to see that you're so laughable about this. And then because the, the thing that's also a little bit weird to me is where she's like, uh, Tiffany, sh uh, she didn't say shut up, but like, um, quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Because what you're doing is you're you're taking the higher ground being like, oh, you're 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 telling someone like this is wrong, this is wrong. And what you don't do is um, acknowledge another person's feelings. Exactly, because it's, yeah. it's 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 only sending what you think, what you think, and what she could have done differently, I would say, is to be like, okay, Tiffany, it hurts me to see you so laughable about it because I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you, yeah. And it really hurts me to see you that you see this right now as a joke, and maybe it's yeah. not true. Maybe that's what I'm seeing, but it it's really hurting me right now, and it kind of feels like you see this as a joke. Yeah. So yeah, and that's also how Tyra started it, and then Tiffany's reaction was something like. Looks can be deceiving. Yeah. I am hurt inside. And yeah. then Tyra should have been like, okay, I don't see it. So my tip to you is show it. Because you saw Tiffany tearing up also during her teleprompter. Yeah. So, of course, your facade can be like, oh, I don't give a shit. Which makes sense. Because then you can act like, oh, I have nothing to lose because I don't care about it. Yeah. You could tell she cared. And Tyra should have should have known better. She yeah, is here to present her. That is true as well. But I also kind of feel... Like, I can get mad at people who you see it happening for them, but they're not taking it. No, but I totally agree with that, but not in this way. Because now it was milked for ratings instead of really caring about Tiffany. 
she makes it look I care about you and maybe she does I don't know we, I we do, don't know I do to be fair I'm, I'm gonna stick up for Tyra a little bit here because I think uh, like I understand that you can get in that state if you really care about someone yeah but if you only care and don't think about raining she wouldn't do like next week uh, Tyra is pushed over the edge and have the but episode that, title no, but that's not that's not her that's like she doesn't decide it's just about the filming yeah. In that moment. I think Tyra is... Because she's not the only person who creates this program, hey? It's yeah, also I'd... producers. It's also people from well, the apparently network. Apparently, she is... Uh, when you hear other girls, she is the one who bosses everyone around. She, it's, it's also produced by Bankable Productions. So, yeah. it's, it's her thing. Apparently, she is... They always have to wait for her. She tells even the cameraman what to do. And it always takes 10 hours, those judgings. Oh, God. And what Tiffany said, like, I felt like there was 30 people waiting for me to jump at Tyra. She felt like, okay, Tyra's going to take her moment now to take me down. That's how she felt. Yeah. It's sad, though. And it's sad. Because and I totally get from... T sorry, continue. No, no. And she said something even worse. Apparently, outside the camera, she also said to her, you can go back to your house and sleep on your mattress on the floor with your, your baby again. So it's also, she went... We didn't see it, so we don't know, but she went dead low, apparently. <gasps> oh, God. And then Michelle said that she also said, um, there's never been a girl I regret costing more than you. So she went there. Instead of caring, she she went below the belt, if she yeah. said this. And that's not okay, in my opinion. No. Because you're the one who is the 10 thing, or 15 years older. Yeah. You know? That I think that's the thing, though, is that uh, maybe she should have known better because she's coming from a hurt place herself. T yeah. talking about Tyra yeah like the way when you start to, it's the same thing if parents start to scream at you it's because they lost control not only because they care also because they lost control yeah because like Tiffany a, was like uh oh no, sorry you, you, you continue it's like the same thing as people if, if parents I don't know if you have that but like I got my I got my ass smacked once but like <laughs> they do it because they don't know what else to do yeah exactly. like my parents would never do that again I think yelling is also a part of weakness yes well, I don't. I wouldn't want to say weakness, but like losing control, like you don't know what to do anymore. Yeah. It's the same thing as like if you get frustrated, what you do, you're like, Aah! yeah, you cannot say, you cannot, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And she was frustrated, and I think she really liked Tiffany. I think Tiffany was one of the front runners in Tyra's mind at the yeah. beginning. But I also with Tiffany, it was also like a nice gesture to the girls because you saw how loved she was by the other girls. Michelle yeah. was crying, and she was like, "Oh, Michelle, oh no, don't worry, she's breaking my back." Ha ha ha. Yeah. Of course, she's making a joke, but also. She's making the girls feel like, I'll be fine. Because I think the girls really cared for Tiffany because they also knew where she was coming from. And yeah. they were like, what are you doing now? We're going to miss you. We, we, we are rooting for you as well. So, I don't know. And and um, yeah, if she's really said those things from you can sleep on the floor, if that's true, then I would be like, if I would be Tiffany, I would also have been like, what the fuck are you doing to me? This is not okay. I think if I, I don't know if I were in that situation, I think I, I couldn't do that in the moment. I could do that looking back on it. I would be like, what did you actually just do to me? Because I think that's the hurtful part for Tiffany is that she got a lot of backlash for it. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing as well. Like she just had to sit there and take it and she couldn't do anything like and Yeah. Yeah. That's a little. Yeah. Yeah. Stressful yeah. episodes. Yeah. But only the last part of the beginning was very, very, very boring. And there's another stressful thing, or stressful oh. another thing, because there's a double elimination, right? We always, oh, yeah. I think everyone always forgets about someone who is a very good front runner. Always have been Rebecca, but she get overshadowed, of course, by this situation. Apparently, Rebecca asked the producers to be eliminated oh. because she got a phone call from home. There was something family situation. I don't exactly know, so correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. But there was something in her home situation. So she asked, can I get eliminated? So maybe there's also a choice that you cannot just step up, that you have to wait till elimination or, or yeah. something. Um, and I never knew that. I, oh, let's put it this way. I never saw this episode knowing that or he yeah. hearing about this. So I don't know the details, but I watched that episode now like that. And I could tell she was still crying. She was still hurtful. But you could also tell maybe in her face a little bit like, it's the end anyway. I yeah. don't know. It may, it, I don't know if it happened before the photo shoot or after the photo shoot, but there was like a phone call she had with her, bro her boyfriend or her fiance, and you didn't really hear what she was saying. He was only saying, you're, you're a strong woman or something. And I was like, maybe that was the phone call where she decided, I'm going to go. Could and then be. I could make it more dramatic now by elim elim eliminating them True. both. So it was yeah. a behind the scenes, it was a very stressful episode, yeah. I think. Yeah. 
watching it, what you said, it was quite boring. But yeah. of course, Durant itself and everything with the judging, you feel the tension, the look in Tyra's eyes when she walks away with like yeah. it's getting humiliating. You could, yeah. oh, if looks can kill. But it's also really funny. I think how the judges all of a sudden they like, as I said before during the talent prompting, but after they're also they're they, they became like sheep. Yeah, they were scared of Tyra. No, but no. like all because like they were agreeing to like yes, yes, and. Like when Tyra said, like we were rooting for you, like we, we you could have been the winner or something like that, and then they were like, yes, 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 and then we're like, it was just really, it was I don't know, it shift. There was a shift, shift in vibe. Maybe also the girls who stayed got a little bit like, what will happen if I get, you know, you could also get, I really have to show that I want this now, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. think about it. Oh, because they have to go, and I think they maybe also understand Tyra because of course she told like I care, blah blah, and yeah. Probably next episode she will have a one on one with her mother again, I guess. Oh mom, I, I yell to a woman and then the mother will say, like, yeah, but it's only because you love her and you only want the best for her. I think it will be that. And I think she will also go to the girls, like, know that I only care about you girls, you're like my daughters, I'm the mama of the group. That will happen. But I think those girls will also be like, Don't mess with Tyra. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen the uh the interview Tyra Banks did with Naomi Campbell? Yes, that on is the Tyra Banks show. Yeah, that's also hilarious because what Tyra does is like, yeah, but you did this, you did that, you did that, you did that. And, I, and Naomi is like the whole time, uh, I don't have that power. Like, I'm sorry that you felt that way, but I don't have that power to do so. Like, she's blaming Naomi yeah. for stuff and Naomi is very cool about it, I feel, but this is hilarious. It's I'm hilarious. not sure how fun Tyra is in real life. I'm curious about that too, but I yeah. I don't know. I think she can be a nice. I don't, well, do you know what the thing is? And that's uh, to stick up for her, as if she needs defending though. Look at what kind no, of. No, but it's also good to have both sides of it. Yeah, right? but um, I think because it is her baby, like this whole show and everything, yeah. um, she cares a lot about it. That's true. And everything that she does, like she's done some big things. Like she had her own show. She had her own talk show. Um, She's hosted like uh, 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 not Britain's Got Talent, but America's Got Talent, stuff like that. Dancing with Stars. Dancing with the Stars. Like she's done big stuff. So I think also if you are very passionate about something and you feel like something is taking taking that from, I can understand it. You can get a little like on it. That's true. And not even talking about this situation, but just in general. Yeah. In general. So it, yeah, it's not okay, maybe, but it's maybe understandable a person can be like that she's also a person yeah of course and she's a course. good businesswoman i guess because she so. is producing it she's hosting it she is she I, live in life and she, she got she got all those life. pictures of america's next top model in her house oh my god yeah i'm gonna hang this in my house That's in my salon yeah. yeah oh um, and do you know one last thing because now rebecca is gone and i had one last thing that i forgot about talk about in the episode when this happened yeah but remember a few episodes ago that she fainted and she went to the yeah. hospital apparently she was left with uh, the hospital the bill, bill. Get out. Of, of 9,000 euros medical bill. <laughs> but I was wondering. I don't know how it works in America. So maybe it's also we are covered in the Netherlands for these kind of yeah. things. But if maybe she is like, yeah, I'm glad they took me to the hospital because this happened. But maybe they did all extra tests that she didn't need. That at home she would have paid maybe a thousand I don't know because they did maybe the, the most luxurious of luxurious but then in the end they didn't apparently they didn't even yeah, pay for the it the system is whole this is completely different over there so I I don't know I don't know yeah yeah she was forced yeah. to not only forced to see a doctor and take medications uh, medication uh, she was also stuck with a medical bill so she was like forced wow. to go which is fine but then you maybe as a program 9,000 euros is nothing for the production of Mark Sexton Model and it well. is a lot for a person yeah. who is 20 years old Who's about to get married. married yeah you can do a whole wedding with that well maybe not but I, I think you can do a lot with that 9,000 dollar that is true though you can get half a dress <laughs> Well, she only needs half a dress. You can see her slick body. That is true. She that needs like true. a very small uh, kid size. It. Yeah. Well, on that note, I'm excited what's going to happen next week. Only seven girls now. Yes. Yeah, you didn't even know about these double elimination, right? No. You were shocked. You I were like, like, oh, Tiffany's going home. Yeah. Rebecca will stay. And then I was like, oh. Would you expect uh, Rebecca to go further? Would you have thought like she will gone, be ne gone no, next week anyway? No, you said like she has a good portfolio. I do not agree. I think it's very boring. When I saw her all zoomed in, I was also like, oh, in my head it was better. Yeah. But she had good poses. No, I didn't I think like she it. Was... No. No, okay. No. Who is your favorite now? Until now, if you think that we have seven left, who would be your front, your top two, your two favorites? Um. Okay, just looking at like the last couple of weeks and like pictures, I would say right now, Britney. I thought you would say that. Yeah, I agree. And 
I would kind of say, uh, I don't know, because I think they're all like last week, everyone was very safe. And this week, I I'm just going to say Brittany. Okay. I agree with the judging that that right now she's the front runner and let's go. Huh. Well, it's clear who my front runner is. Kalen. Kalen. Yeah, but and you know whose portfolio I actually kind of like all the time, almost all the time. Michelle's. Yeah. She has some great photos. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. She she deserves to still be there with this less yeah. less seven. Yes. 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 I think all of them are quite good now who are left. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good group. Well, let's see what they're gonna bring next week. Yes. Yes. All see right. You then. See, see you then. then in two weeks. Bye. Bye.